everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here in Zoodesia Zoo building Tate's Pier! And is that Tate trying to- where is he? Okay, that's all, yeah? Okay, here's Tate, he's right here, Lily's right there, Ash! Ash is already dashing around the pier, so oh gosh. We've got a lot of the puppies with us today, so we have plenty of companionship. I actually was even thinking about bringing down maybe Darling or one of our little host daughters, Primrose and Bluebell, the little maids. But for now, we've got all of our pups and we are doing good. We are building up Tate's Pier and we did a pretty good job last time, except for the fact that like we grew a tiny tree. I needed a much bigger willow tree and it gave me a tiny willow tree. So sadly, we're going to have to cut them down and try again so that we can have an even bigger willow tree tree but I think we'll try to gather up some of the leaves before we cut them down so we can build a nice custom tree with the big one that grows. I want to put down like a bunch of roots. I really want to make it look like this awesome willow that just spreads its beautiful branches over the little dock. So here is one of the little little piers that we're building. Tate's little fishing pier. In fact, oh I hit the mood hit me. The mood hit me. This is what I wanted to do. Ah then anytime the mood strikes, we can go ahead and get our super awesome aquaculture fishing rod out and do a little bit of extra fishing. Oh, what do we have? We have a bluegill! A little one pound bluegill! That's adorable! That is so adorable! Oh, I can't wait till we can come fish over here. I actually transferred all of my fish into this chest right here so that we can start filling it up properly with all sorts of wonderful fish fish. And that way we can eventually move these guys down to where Dr. Nami is going to be. I think Dr. Nami is probably going to hang out in the Hall of Fish. I think that's what we'll call this area. This is going to be where we have the Hall of Fish. And once we get a few of like the aquariums up and we get, like, get some doors set up so that, you know, zombies aren't just going to go and pop out of the windows and try to eat Dr. Nami and Pebbles, who will be returning. Pebbles, his penguin, will be coming back. Don't you guys worry. Once we get those set up, so at least that hallway is done and it's secured, I think that's when we'll have Dr. Nami. And then even if we don't get the Fisher Dogs table done right away, we will have the majority of it done and we can at least get our fish from Dr. Nami so we can put them into the fish exhibit. It's amazing how many things we give ourselves to do just so we can get to the point of having the fish we need for the exhibits, but that's okay. I really love these adventures. Some of the best adventures we've ever gone on have been ones where we just end up, oh gosh, all right, Tate, you're good. Ash, are you good? Did you need more food? There you go, Ash. Have been adventures where we've just gone to collect like basic materials and amazing things happen. So I don't regret it. I don't regret it at all. All right, but so let's see, what are we doing today? We're gonna be working on the pier a little bit more today. I'm gonna try to let the puppies just run around and have a good time and pick up whatever they want so that they've got plenty of stuff in their packs next time it's time to bathe them. Alia, do you want that little piece of grass? Is that what you're telling me, Alia? Do you want me to pop up some of this grass? Come here, Alia. Oh, Ash is gonna get it. Oh, Ash got it. Sorry, Alia. Here, Alia, there you go. Hopefully she got that one. It just seemed like she wanted some of that grass. But we're gonna be working on finishing this part of the pier. And once we have the design style down, we'll go ahead and I'm thinking we might put the wood down along here as well. And just let it come and connect up to this pier. So it's all kind of like uh, the same the same dock. So you, all can, you can tell it's the same thing. And then let's go ahead, like all part and parcel of the same area. And I'm actually gonna work on the path a little bit too, which may seem a little bit odd, but we need to have a proper path leading down here because I'm always forgetting the paths and so our zoo is always looking a little bit silly sometimes. All right, so I just wanna clear this away so I can see where I need to work. Tate's Pier is actually being worked on. This is gonna be so cool. All right, so yeah, a lot of the a lot of the detail work again today, guys, and I hope you guys are okay with that, because we're just going nice and slow, one block at a time, but we're getting stuff done. Let's cut down this tree. All right, come here, willow tree. I'm really sorry. I needed you to be much bigger than you turned out to be. All right, and we'll go around and collect up the leaves, and we can use them to build up a nice, pretty custom willow after this. And actually, the dock looks so good from the house, because I ended up up by the house for just a second, and I looked down, and you can see the dock on the lake, and it actually looks really, really good. And I put one of the little benches that Ben gave us right here, so we could kind of get an idea of where it could be and what it looks like, and I think it's looking great. All right, oops, did I not finish putting down the oak wood down here? I totally meant to. All right, let's go here. And here, and here. No! <laughs> That's why you have to be so careful. No, Tate, why? Why, Tate? He stole my stuff. All right, let's do this. And then, doink. All right, that's better. 
All right, so that is nice and lined up. And let's try again. Today, I think we're going to be putting down a lot of willow trees. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I see willow trees, I'm always thinking about Pocahontas because of Grandma Willow. No, it needs to be bigger. Bigger, please. I'm so sorry to cut you down so many times. But I need you to be, like, much bigger. All right, I've got an idea, you guys. The willow doesn't want to be big. So we're going to go to drastic measures. You guys ready for this? It's kind of drastic. Oh, here's a little willow sapling. Let's gather that one up. We're going to come over here. Oh, there's a willow sapling. And we're going to make a little dirt pillar. And we won't go up too high. I just need at least maybe three, maybe four higher. Okay, that might be a little excessive. All right, let's try it. Let's try it this high and see if this will do it. All right, let's come over here. All right, come on, willow. Okay, now you made a tall willow tree. That's too tall. <laughs> I mean, there needs to be some balance. I was trying to get this height before this happened. Oh, gosh. Well, now we have to cut this one down. We're really getting into quite the adventure now. There's willow saplings everywhere. We're going to have willow saplings. Plenty of them to do whatever we need. Ash, for crying out loud. Don't get stuck under there. Come on, puppies. All right. Tate, Alia, Ash. I'm going to make you guys sit down again. Because you guys are getting too close to the pier. I love letting them follow us around and like working with them. But really, when they get underfoot like that, it can be very dangerous. All right, let's try again. <laughs> let's see how this one turns out. Again! Again with being super tall. Ah. Oh. All right, maybe if we take it down. All right, let's go ahead and let's try now. All right, now what do you think? Um. Uh, it's still too tall. <laughs> I needed it to be that tall before. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. All right, it's still too tall, so let's try it here. Have you learned your lesson? Are you just going to be that tall for me? Oh, thank goodness. All right, well, you know what? You know what? We'll go with that. What on earth? Why is this block this color? Interesting. We'll go with this. I think we can go with this. And let's gather up all of these willow saplings. We have so many willow saplings now. Glorious grafter. I remember we laughed so hard, or at least I did, when I got a fortune axe. Because I was like, what am I going to do with a fortune axe? Well, I'm going to get a bazillion and a half saplings. That's how it. All right. So the willow sapling is still, or the willow tree, I, like, I, a little bit of, it's too big still. <laughs> oh, okay. This will be like a couple of our last tries. I can't believe how big it turned out. Like, I just need something kind of in the middle. Can I not get... Oh, okay. You know what? I'm not going to complain about this anymore. We will just manually trim some some of the, the little branches. Not even worried anymore. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted right there. If it's over the pier, I can just come over here. There. There. See? That's much better. That's what I wanted. That's much better. All right, and let's go ahead and grab the willow leaves and we can just kind of decorate with them. Stop despawning. Don't despawn. <laughs> Curses. Don't despawn, little one. Stay with me. Stay with me. You're a beautiful willow. You're a beautiful willow. You don't want to go anywhere. Stay with me. Oh gosh, it really fusses. It's okay. We'll we'll fiddle with it. We'll fiddle with it later and I'll fill in what tries to disappear on us. Eh. Eh. Ah, oh, really, I won't go there. Okay, let's just do this. And I'll fill in what tries to disappear on us later. But at least we've kind of got a little start. There we go. There, that kind of gives us the correct height. So there we go. Even if the willow tree is vanishing before our eyes, and then we'll have to fix it later. Oh, that's so annoying. Because if you start to snip at the leaves, then they'll just start, like, falling off. But we'll take care of it later. All right, so that willow tree, um, hmm kind of a stickly willow tree but we'll take care of that don't you guys worry don't you guys worry let's come down and gather up all these hopefully our little water gardens will continue to spread Whew. and you know I don't think I've ever found a water snail I find terrestrial land snails quite often especially when I'm gardening they were very popular where I lived out in Missouri and the biggest land snails I have ever found in my life were definitely in the mountains of Boone, in Boone, North Carolina. And some of you guys, if you recall looking at the vlogs, I actually have a whole vlog where I was playing with a little snail and it was really fun. He was so big, like the size of a quarter at least, which is like the biggest coin denomination in America, for those of you guys who are not familiar with how big a coin may be. 
All right, and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make, let's see, I'm gonna make some roots. So we can have some nice roots for our willow, kind of sticking out over here. And we're gonna make our willow a little bit bigger, okay? Maybe right here, and like so. And that should be good. And then we're gonna give our willow some sloping root, roots. So actually, I think I need to grab the carpenter's barrier. And what you do, so yeah, what we're gonna do is we are going to <laughs> take this very sickly, sad little willow tree. I'll have to fix them later. Yeah, we'll fix them later. Just ignore the fact that this willow tree is disintegrating before our eyes. It will look nice eventually. And we're gonna give it some nice roots so that when people come over, they can feel like they are happily shaded by the beauty of the willow. And dang it, I don't think I can make this. I thought I could just use the mouse scroll will and it would let me alter it, but unfortunately it's not. Not letting me do that. Ah, ah, all right, once we get the willow done, we'll do some celebratory fishing. All right, let's come down here. And let's go ahead and try making some of these slopes because we do need slopes for our carpenter's fencing. So there would be some sticks like so. And then like that, maybe like this, there we go. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, there we go. Boom, all right, nice little slopes. And we're gonna go ahead and these carpenter slopes are a fantastic way of quickly making your trees look like they have some awesome roots. So we're gonna come over here to this poor, sad, Falling apart little willow tree. I feel so bad for it. And oh gosh, there's just saplings everywhere as it like kind of starts crumbling on itself. Um, there we go. And we can make the roots look like that. Not bad. I like it. All right, we'll come over here. Same thing. Like so. All right, good. And then should I make the willow, whoops, bloop, a little bit bigger? Um, like take this down. Hmm. 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 I think we'll do this. I'm gonna take this down and I'm gonna put, yeah, some roots like this and then like this and like this and this, okay? And then here, there we go, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. I think that looks really good and kind of gives the impression that we wanna have. I think I'm gonna put this at an angle though to go like so, yeah, like that. There we go, so now here's our willow tree, you guys. It's sad and sickly and stunted right now, but even a, even a sickly little tree can reach for the light. Even it can reach for the light, so we will be adding more leaves to it in the future. So don't you worry about that, don't you worry about that. But one of the things you guys were suggesting was actually when you come down the path, willows would be on either side of the dock, so you could kind of walk under the willow leaves and over to the docks to go fishing. And I think that that would be a really beautiful thing to do. So let's go ahead and we're gonna plant some of the willow saplings up along, and I'm sorry I keep saying let's go ahead so much. I'm trying to keep on task. It's Siri, really, really nibbling wild cranberries in the bushes and trying to focus. All right, do I have any food on me? I think I have a couple cakes that the villagers gave me and some cake Ben gave me, but we know better than to snack on that. So we'll put the cake down and we'll eat this. And then I actually need to get more food. So we'll go over to the cafe and we might take care of the red wolves for a little bit to earn some zookeeper experience points and then use that over at the ATM and get some food so we can continue our work over here because it's turning out pretty good. All right, and let's put a willow tree. Mm, let's see, because if we're gonna put the wood down here, I think we'll do it three deep, one, two, three on the wood. So then like a willow tree could go maybe right here. So how does it look if I put a willow tree right there? If one will grow right here. Will you not grow here? Is it not enough room? Let me try making some room for you. And then maybe if we make room for the tree, we can always put the grass back. There we go. Oh, look at that. That's kind of nice. I don't know why none of it wanted to grow on this side. And we might have to clear out some of it, but you can still walk under, okay. So that's good. We might do some willows up along Swan Lake then. I was planning on keeping it mostly like, mostly oak trees. In fact, where are my oak tree saplings? I should probably replant some of them along here just so we can keep the look of the oak trees. Okay, let me put them, let me put one right here. How big are you gonna turn out? Come on, you can do it. Oh, well, that's not very big, but that's okay. All right, and then maybe a willow tree over here, just as a little, yeah, maybe we'll just put like one willow tree 
over here to kind of line the edge. And we can always put the sand back down. And then willow tree, come here. And there we go. That's nice. All right. And we will have to kind of work with the leaves a little bit though. So yeah, well, we'll have to work with the leaves a little bit to kind of scooch them and move them. But I like the idea of maybe walking through some of the willow leaves to get over here and be like, ah, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, perfect for fishing. I should probably have a sign that says, please don't fish the, the swans. Oh, we have another message in a bottle. All right, let's go see what it says. And dear fans, hi, sincerely, Shadow Claimer. That's so cool. That must be one of the mod authors. That's really awesome. All right, let's see if we can get a fish though. So we've got a bluegill yesterday, and that was really exciting. Oh, it looks like a bluegill lake. Look at that. So it looks like we mostly have tiny, cute little bluegill here. Well, we'll have to remember that when the time comes to start decorating the area. All right, and let's remove some of the plants because we know what to do with the plants. And because I'm going to need some food, let's go ahead and we're going to take care of the red wolves for now. So let's go make them some food, you guys. We need to check our traps. We need to see if they have any of the pork chops that they need. If we have more chicken to feed our red wolves. And then we'll be able to get some zookeeper experience points, turn it into money, and feed myself. <laughs> Which is entirely what that whole system is for. All right, let's go ahead and gather up all of this. We have some nice fruit bait. Okay. All right, watch out, Tate. Watch out. Okay. Thank you very much. And we'll gather up some of this. There we go. There we go. Plenty of that. All right. And then I need my shears. All right. Watch out puppies. Don't steal this. I need this to make lots of different veggie baits and things like that. All right. There we go. Oh, I'm probably having some of them steal it, but that's okay. All right. And there we go. All right. And then we can come over to our traps and we can see I've got a chicken, some venison, mutton, oh, a couple of pork chops, a few pork chops in here for the vegetable, the vegetable bait, and then some leather and bones, which we can give to our wolves as treats and toys and enrichment items to play with. Feathers, leather, more chicken, a bone, more fruit bait, and lots of raw rabbit. Um, eggplant seeds can go into the compost. Whew. So we're kind of varying our time between the necessity of trying to feed myself, so working in some of the old exhibits, and then working on one of the new exhibits too. So let's see, what else are we gonna try to get done? Oh, is it raining? It's raining. Let's go ahead and take the pork and turn it into do, 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 the pork. Let's see, how many pork? Three pork. We'll turn the pork into the pork sausage that we make for the red wolves. And I need to make some more veggie bait, but I don't have any vegetables. So I might have to make some fruit bait instead. Hmm, we'll look into that. We'll look into that. All right, let's cook up the pork chops so that we can make the food for the wolves. And I actually have the cutting board that I accidentally took from here last time we did this. And I can return the cutting board now. So there's that at least. All right, whoops. What are you guys collecting? I think they were fishing in the rain. I love it when my dogs fish in the rain. It's so adorable. All right, so they're doing that. And I'm going to go ahead and make some fruit bait while we wait. All right, let's come over here. And whoops, okay, got to take the cutting board off. And then we'll just line all of this up like so. Do, 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 do. And we'll have to save that one. And there we go. So more fruit bait just like that that we can restore into our traps. It's really nice just to have kind of rhythm down for our entire zoo like this. And then we come over and we add in the salt, the cooked pork chop, and the spice leaves. And we can make pork sausage just like that. Boom. I'm going to put this down. And that is what this whole little temperate forest zookeeper station is for. All right. And then we run over here. I can't wait till we have like people inside of here who we can come in and we can see like different furs and all sorts of informational posters here in, in this little room and we can buy souvenirs. That would be so fun. That would be so fun. All right, puppies. Oh, look at how cute the red wolves are. They're adorable. Aren't they? Lily. <laughs> look at Lily dance on her statues. Lily sit. Lily sit. Oh, Lily, that's hilarious. Lily, look at you. You're sitting on your own statue. That is so cute. All right, Tate, you sit. Ash, you sit. All right, we'll take care of the red wolves really quickly. All right, hello, Maple. How are you doing? Wonderful. I've already picked up some of their poo. Fantastic. That'll actually help us keep the exhibit clean. So we'll give them some toys to play with. Right over here is Spruce. We'll feed him some chicken. 
We'll give him some leather to play with. We'll give him a bone to play with. There we go. I need to find, where's Summer? I haven't seen, oh, hey, there's fur. All right, here's fur. And we'll give him a chicken. And then, um, I'm gonna save the bone. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. All right, where is, oh, here's some more. All right, here's Nutmeg. Hey, Nutmeg. Nutmeg really seems to stick with their mom quite often, which I think is very cute. And we'll give her a bone. And I'm going to give Meadow, who is their mom, one of the leather and a chicken and a pork chop. In fact, or not the pork chops, the pork sausage. I'm going to give her two of them. Actually, where's, is Redwood out here? Redwood. Oh, there you are, Redwood. Redwood, you got all wet, so you're, you're the wrong color. All right, and we'll give Redwood the rest of the meat, and then they can divide it among their other kids. So there we go, and I've got some wolf poo. Wonderful, maybe I can grow some, um, maybe I can grow some willow trees with this. Hello, Adelaide, I'd shake your hand, but my hand's covered in wolf poo right now. Gross. All right, we'll run this way, and dive into the river to feel clean after scooping all of that poop. Dive, dive, dive. Ah, oh, there we go. And now we just come over to our ATM, and ta-da. And a little bit more. Oh, I need to do the half denomination NPC pieces. I keep forgetting I need to do that. It would make this so much faster. So much faster. There we go. All right, and that's done. And now I can go ahead and we can get some food from Adelaide. So nice to see how we can just kind of put all that together so quickly. All right, I'm actually going to get some peanut butter cookies because I love peanut butter cookies a lot. And I'm going to get some of the roseberry tea because that seems very nice and refreshing too. And then we'll just save the rest of the coins. Well, 11 coins. Is there anything? No. Well, you know what? Let's spend it. We're going to spend two of them. Or two, or one stack on two sculptures. So we can add the pile of sculptures that we are getting to give to Alex as a gift. So there. Whew. All right. Just got to put the fruit bait away. And then I want to get a little bit more on the dock done before we call it a day. Even though it's really cute. Look at Lily. I'm going to leave Lily sitting there for just a minute, though, because I want to come back and take a little picture of her later. That's just so cute. All right. So let's see. Is this the fruit bait? I think this was the fruit bait. So we'll go ahead, put the fruit bait in here. And we're going to get just a couple more things done on the dock before the end of the day because we have a lot to work on. I really want to finish up this building project soon, which means we have to stay focused. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job for Siri at staying focused, except for the fact that our willow tree has turned out kind of weird. So poor willow tree. I'll see if I can fix it. All right. So now what I want to do for, let's see, I'm going to need more oak wood, actually. Now what I want to do for the dock is actually put down some of these carpenters barriers and you can still put them on their side on the side even though oh ash oh gosh she's gonna start drowning how do you get under there ash all right he's doing okay now but yeah you can put the carpenters barriers up along the side of the blocks even though oh i don't have any wood in there i thought it was full of wood oh okay well all right well, at least i'll show you guys what the idea is going to be we're going to put the oak wood on these pieces right here so that we can continue this kind of really nice look. So like so, like so, like so, like so. And I think that looks nice and distinctive, but we'll kind of vary it up a little bit by grabbing the seeds. And you can take seeds and then do a little bit of that. And I think it would be kind of fun just to kind of tie the greenery into everything. There we go. And there we go. No, ah, I went on the wrong direction. But you guys have the basic idea. So tomorrow we'll have to take down a few trees around the, the lake edge, the lake shore. And we will have to make sure. Okay, come on. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, we'll take down. And I put this one. Tate, what are you doing under there? I need my puppies to stop trying to go under the bridge. They're going to get themselves totally, like, suffocated. Oh, gosh, Tate. Follow me, Tate. Oh, dear. Okay, there goes my last ration cake. All right, come on, Tate. Is he following? Okay, thank goodness. But yeah, that'll be the basic idea. And I really like it because then we'll mix in the nice bit of greenery. We'll still keep it kind of oak so it stays nice and simple. But otherwise, it looks good. So we'll cut down some trees. We'll try to get the path down. We're trying to make some pretty quick progress, even if it doesn't feel like it. And we'll do that some more tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for joining me and for your patience. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as we can so that we can get Dr. Nami in. And we can start adding in all sorts of awesome fish. And we can have a really cool little fish museum over here and put the fish over in the Asian forest area and it's going to be awesome 
But thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.